Imagine living in a world where the military rules and civilian government takes a back seat. What would the implications be on your daily life and your rights? This is martial law. Martial law is essentially the imposition of military rule, where the civilian government and legal processes are suspended. It's a state of governance often declared in times of war, emergencies, civil unrest, or natural disasters. At its core, martial law is about necessity, not legal right. And its justification typically stems from the common law doctrine of necessity. When martial law is enacted, normal life can look very different. Curfews may be imposed, keeping citizens off the streets during specified hours. Civil rights, the freedoms and protections that citizens enjoy may be suspended. And the military law, a legal framework designed to manage the conduct of members of the military, can be applied to civilians. But martial law is not a one-size-fits-all concept. Its implementation can vary greatly based on the situation at hand and the government's objectives. It can be used to enforce government rule, suppress opposition, stabilize populations during occupations, and respond to major disasters. Martial law can be a double-edged sword, used to maintain order during chaos, but potentially infringing on individual freedoms. Martial law isn't a mere concept. It has been a reality in various parts of the world. Let's take a journey back in time to the period following World War II. Germany and Japan, two nations ravaged by the brutalities of war, were under martial law during their reconstruction phase. The military rule was imposed to stabilize the shaken societies and assist in the rebuilding of these nations. Across the globe, in the land down under, martial law was declared during the Black War in Tasmania. The mid-19th century conflict between the British colonists and the Aboriginal people of Tasmania led to the imposition of this stringent law, highlighting how martial law has often been a response to civil unrest. Moving forward, let's travel to the Southeast Asian nation of Bruni. Since 1962, Bruni has been living under martial law, it's a unique example of how martial law can persist for decades, shaping the socio-politics of a nation in profound ways. In Canada, the government used the War Measures Act to assume emergency powers during times of crisis. The act, enacted during the World Wars and the October Crisis of 1970, shows how martial law can be sanctioned through legislation to address national emergencies. Now. Let's shift our gaze to China, a country with a long history of martial law. For almost 40 years, Taiwan, when under Chinese control, lived under martial law. This period, known as the White Terror, was marked by severe suppression of political dissidents. Decades later, in 1989, martial law was declared in Beijing following the Tiananmen Square protests. It's a stark reminder of how martial law can be used to curb public dissent and maintain governmental control. Lastly, we turn to Egypt. Since 1967, Egypt has been under a continuous state of emergency, a form of martial law. This has allowed military courts the power to try civilians and permitted the detention of individuals deemed a threat to state security. As you can see, martial law has been a global phenomenon each instance with its unique circumstances and impacts. Martial law brings a different face to a nation's governance, one marked by military rule and often a suspension of civilian rights. It's a system that sweeps in when civilian control wavers, be it due to war, emergencies, civil unrest, or natural disasters. Under martial law, the military steps in to enforce order often suspending civil rights and applying military law to civilians. It's a system born out of necessity, but one that walks a thin line between maintaining order and infringing on liberties. Across the globe, we've seen martial law declared in various contexts. Post-World War II reconstruction in Germany and Japan, the recovery of the Confederate States of America, the occupation of northern France, these are just a few examples of how martial law has played out in history. More recently, we've seen it in Thailand, Egypt, Poland and China. 
While martial law can restore order during tumultuous times, it's crucial to remember the potential for overreach and the importance of safeguarding individual freedoms. After all, the balance between security and liberty is a delicate one.